Hi, I'm David Miller. I've been fortunate enough to have made a career in fashion as a model for some of the world's top brands and designers. But I'm here to call your attention to some less fortunate individuals who have never wanted to end up on the catwalk. Ostriches, this magnificent herd from my native South Africa. You may know ostrich leather from its distinctive bumps. Chances are you didn't realize that these bumps are the follicles where the ostrich feathers were ripped out. I grew up in Cape Town, a few hours away from the Oatsorn area, which is the ostrich killing capital of the world. After watching this undercover video captured by Peter, I hope you will agree with me that ostrich skin is for the birds. The skin of these three day old chicks will eventually be turned into designer wallets, boots, belts, or Birkin bags. In the wild, they will stay with their mothers and fathers for up to three years. On production farms, they will never even get to meet their parents. Instead, they are kept in barren dirt feedlots and tagged as if they were nothing more than walking merchandise. They will even have their feathers plucked out while they're still alive. Their body feathers will be used for feather dusters, while their wing plumes will be used in costumes for the Moulin Rouge or the Brazilian Carnival. In the wild, they can live up to 40 years. But in the ostrich industry, they will be killed just after their first birthday. In less than two months, these curious, playful juveniles will be slaughtered and skinned. Here, a worker strikes an ostrich on their way to a slaughterhouse that supplies skins for fashion houses. You're about to watch never before seen footage of ostrich slaughtered inside the two largest ostrich processing companies in the world. In just a few minutes, these juveniles in the waiting pens will be herded up the chutes to the killing floor. A word of warning. Many of the images are graphic. Workers force them into a box to be electrically stunned. Many of them panic birds, slip and fall on the floor while being manhandled into the machine. Other ostriches next in line can see them being slaughtered through the doorway. Workers clamp their legs and bodies to immobilize them and stick their heads into the stunner. Another worker cuts their throats. This slaughterhouse is the exclusive supplier of ostrich skin for certain fashion houses. The most lucrative part on the ostrich body is the skin on their back. This part is the diamond area. This is where the money is made. This, this goes into a handbag or a pair of shoes or whatever. It's a myth that ostriches bury their heads in the sand, but as consumers, we often do. But now that you know the sad fate of these birds, please visit PETA online and help pressure fashion houses to drop ostrich leather and other exotic skins from their collections. A new generation is embracing animal-friendly fashion made of fabric that never bleeds. Thank you.